We all know that holidays can be so stressful. And the last thing we're trying to think about is which side dish we're taking to a holiday party. So don't worry about it. I got you covered. Today we're making three side dishes that you can make in less than 10 minutes. And before we get started, I want to thank Texas Pete for sponsoring this video. Guys, this is the best hot sauce. It's a great balance of flavor and I for sure always have it on hand. So today we're using it in all of our recipes. We're going to get started with the buffalo chicken dip. So this one here, you can make it hot or cold. You're going to make it in less than 10 minutes. If you're going to make it cold, then you can save about seven minutes of that time and don't throw it in the oven and just have it cold. But we're going to make it hot where it's nice and cheesy and you're going to be able to take it to a family holiday party, gathering, whatever it is, and everyone's going to love it. To make life easier, I'm using rotisserie chicken. If you have the time and you want to cook your own chicken, you can do chicken breast or thighs make it nice and crispy. I went the easy route. It's already shredded in here because I just want to show you how simple it is to make. So we have some pepper jack cheese. And then we have some sharp cheddar cheese. And then we have our softened cream cheese. We have our mayo. And then of course our Texas Pete hot sauce. This is going to give it just that nice tang and like kick that you want in this dip. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more hot sauce after I mix. I just want to add my seasonings and it's really the sauce kind of brings all the flavors together. So we'll probably end up adding a bit more. I just want to see the color once it's all mixed in. So we have some pepper, then we have our garlic powder. And then we have some onion powder. Give this a good mix. And this is why you want your cream cheese to be softened because then it just makes it so easy to mix. So we're going to add a little bit more of our hot sauce. Mix everything together. As you can see, that color is really coming through. If you wanted to make just a traditional buffalo sauce, it's just the Texas Pete sauce with butter. And that is how you make like buffalo sauce for chicken wings. So this is the flavor profile that we're going for in this dip. Okay guys, so make sure that your oven is preheated to 375 degrees. So we have an eight by eight baking dish. And now all we're gonna do is place our dip right inside. Now you can top it with a little extra cheese. I feel like um, for my liking, there's enough cheese inside and it's still gonna give it like a nice um, golden brown crisp. Again, 375, we're gonna get this in and I cannot wait to show you how beautiful this turns out. All right, guys, so this is nice and hot. We're going to top it off with some fresh green onions. I feel like that just brings it all together. Now for our second 10 minute dip, we're going to start by cooking our ground beef. I'm going to start by adding just a teeny tiny bit of avocado oil. Now for your meat, it really just like depends on whether you're doing like an 80, 20, 90, uh, 90, 10, then that's how much oil you will add. We have a little bit of garlic powder. Chili flakes for that spice. If you don't like spice in your life, then just omit this or just do a little teeny tiny. And then we have some onion powder. We have some salt, pepper. And of course, to bring the flavor over the top, we are adding some of the Texas Pete hot sauce. Okay, and so this is obviously going to give us that flavor that we want for this next side dish. Our ground beef is nicely seasoned and fully cooked. We have a bed of low carb chips here. And now we're just gonna go ahead and top it with our meat. Now we're gonna go in with our cheese. Now you're gonna use your cheese of choice. This is like a Mexican blend cheese. Um, another cheese that goes really well because it, it melts really nicely is like a Monterey Jack. You can use a pepper jack, gouda. I mean, there's just at this point, it is personal preference, whatever you want sprinkled right over your meat and chips. Okay, so before we add the rest of our toppings, I'm gonna toss this under the broiler just for about a couple minutes so it can get nice and cheesy and melty. Going into the broiler. Okay, so it's out of the broiler, nice and melty. Now let's go ahead and finish off with our toppings. Now we're gonna go in with a tomato, some cilantro. We're gonna add a little bit more cheese. 
and some green onion. I feel like this is just going to take everything over the top. So I have some fresh jalapenos, sliced avocado. Then we have our fresh limes and finish it off with some sour cream right in the center. The last final touch to these nachos are some more hot sauce. Guys, look at this. Tell me this would not look perfect for, again, gathering, party, holiday, appetizer, dinner. For our last and final 10 minute appetizer, we have pigs in a blanket. So you have your little bacon strip, you have your little smoky, then you put your little pig and then you roll it. Okay, so we're just gonna do that for all of these. We're gonna place them onto a piece of parchment paper. And then these are gonna get a nice golden, like caramelized, um, like a caramelization around the bacon. Guys, it's so fire because it's a combination of like the sweet and savory. You have the little meat inside with the little crunchy bacon on the outside, the um, caramelization from the brown sugar, and then you have that tang and spice from the sauce. Stop. Stop. Okay, so now that we have these all rolled out, we're gonna get them right into the oven. We're gonna cook them for about five minutes and then I'm gonna show you the next step. And the oven is at 325. So we're gonna get these in five minutes. Beautiful. As you can see, they are almost, I mean, the little smokies don't need any cooking. It's the bacon that we're trying to get crispy. So I feel like it's about three fourths of the way there. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so right now I'm just using a napkin to dab the, ex the excess oil. So when you pull your pigs out, you're gonna want to flip them over just so that they're crispy, you know, ev evenly crispy on both ends. So it's not, 100% necessary because they will, it will end up crisping, but I just love like that nice bite, like that crisp, that crunch, I want that. So I went ahead and did that already. Now we're gonna go ahead and top these with our low sugar brown sugar. And you can use your, you can use regular brown sugar, you can use coconut sugar, use your sugar of choice. Now for the balance of that sweet, salty, savory with a little kick, we're gonna go in with our Texas peat hot sauce. And we're also gonna use this sauce as our dipping sauce, but this is gonna just give us that good balance that we're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna get these in for about three to five minutes, and I cannot wait to show you how all three appetizers turn out. Ooh. Look at how beautiful these look. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Threw them in. You have that nice caramelization on top of each and every one. So our little Smokies have the brown sugar. So as a dipping sauce, I feel like it's gonna be a great balance of flavor just to do the Texas peat sauce. And it's also gonna give us that nice kick. So now to finish it off, we are adding just little sprinkles of parsley. And this, my friends, is going to make your appetizer just look, just looks beautiful. It's perfect, perfect. Okay, and here are our three appetizers that you can make from start to finish in less than 10 minutes. Of course, this is perfect not only for the holidays, but even parties, I mean, or even just a snack for you to have at home. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe for all three in the description below. I'm also gonna leave a link to Texas Peat Hot Sauce in the description below. It's just a sauce that you have to have in your fridge because it is everything in life. Now, the team and I are gonna go ahead and enjoy these appetizers for lunch. This one was calling my name, so. Mmm. So good. You can taste the brown sugar, salty, spice. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you enjoyed this video and like these ideas, don't forget to show me some love and go hit that like button and share the channel along with these recipes with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you just know are trying to make healthier choices in their life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.